Hello everyone, Tiny Sir Trippies here, and we are back with Genshin Impact. Cool. <sighs> Should be easy for me to remember that. It's a zero number. Um, so we're going to be hit with a lot of lore and stuff like that, so... We're just, it's going to be a lot of cutscenes. A lot of cutscenes. It's nice to meet you. This is the first time we've met in real life. Before, we've only met in dreams, consciousness, or when I was in someone else's body. Thank you so much for coming to rescue me, but I also need to apologize. During this time, I did some self-reflection. My sense of inferiority and yielding to the Academia led to all of this, and created so much trouble for you all. Exactly! We're here because you're a good Archon and Ow. one of our friends! Fuck the hurt. <laughs> Thanks, you too. <sighs> Amazing. So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. It's like I just had an endlessly long dream. I can't even tell if I just woke up or was only now born into this world. My concept of self has become so clear. <clears throat> but now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this feeling. Um, this is really embarrassing. You all just rescued an Archon, and now she needs your help to save her country, and... Even the entire world. It's okay. With you here, Paimon's sure that everything will work out. There's one more thing. What is it? For all the things the Academia did to me, and for all the folly it committed in the name of wisdom, as their Archon, I will make them pay. Ah! I feel like there's a weird disconnect when it comes to the voices and the motion. Wow! That's the spirit! You're finally standing up for yourself and not letting people walk all over you! <laughs> I understand now. To be a better Archon, I first need to better myself. If you haven't even figured out how to be a caterpillar, how can you be a butterfly? Yes, true. Hmm, that reminds me. I wonder how far along the Academia is with their god creation plan. Far? We need to hurry and prevent the birth of that false god. I need to make some preparations. Since I'm now free, I can establish a direct link to the Akasha and control it. First things first. I need to remove the restrictions that the doctor put on me in the Akasha. After that, I'll make some adjustments and revoke the Sage's permissions. The Akasha will then be like how it originally was, only operable by the Archon. After all, the Academia betrayed Greater Lord Rukadovata's trust. This might take some time. In the meantime, you should also work on your own preparations. If we don't stop the God Creation Plan in time, we'll be in for a tough fight. Huh. I need to do some work. You might as well prepare for a fight. When we're done, we can take a walk around. After all, we missed out on a lot of stuff when we were locked up. What? Just do them the blonde-haired traveler? How did you come out from the sanctuary of Surasthana? 
It's normally forbidden to enter that place. Uh, sorry, we don't know the rules here. <laughs> it's fine, just pay more attention next time. Anyway, I'm looking for Grand Sage Azar. Have you seen him? The more I think about it, the more I believe there's something fishy about Alhatham's return. I need to let the Grand Sage know somehow. You're finally starting to put two and two together. Paimon, do not give this to me. Give me the thing. What the heck is that? Is that a... <clears throat> Normally I would just skip over to the time. But like, I wanted to see... Like, I kind of do want to see if there's anything of importance. Oh! I haven't seen you before. Fascinating. Indeed. Not a lot of people are there. Hickbum's house. Where is all his house? I think it's this one. <laughs> no? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to go into the Grand Bazaar, but I don't know. What's the hurry? This is the Grand Bazaar, no? Oh, that's the core of 40 shenanigans. So what's your name in here? <coughs> Hello. I'm here for reputation. Nope. All right. God damn it. Gotta do Tenari's bullshit. Okay. That is the one thing that's bad about when you have so many open. Like, it stops you from doing, like, quests and stuff because you're like, oh shit. Now I have to fucking go and do this and that. This is where you've been, Tainari? Hmm. That's. Shh. Keep your voice down. Tainari? Everything's. Spinning. Am I going to die? <laughs> tell mom that I should have listened to her. And tell Suna that I'm sorry for breaking her toy. I didn't tell her because I was scared that she wouldn't play with me anymore. Tainari, I heard that people turn into birds after they die. Is that true? I 
feel like I'm getting lighter. What happened? Tainari, is he? Okay, okay, enough nonsense. You just have a small fever. Take your medication and rest. You'll be bouncing off the walls in no time. Really? Then... Can you keep the thing about the toy a secret for now? Uh, no can do. You're a big kid now. Once you've recovered, go and apologize. Keeping secrets to yourself won't solve anything. Oh. Hmm. Hey, let me ask you something. I recall that you're usually pretty healthy. How did you get this sick all of a sudden? I don't know either. Mom's been telling me not to play in the forest. I just wanted to look inside. It's different from before. I got lost and went around in a huge circle. After I got out, I, I started feeling dizzy. Could it be? The contaminated region? Hmm. So that's how this whole mess happened. Anyway, go rest. No running around until I say so. Got it? Traveler, Paimon, let's step out for now. Mr. Forest Watcher, how is my son? I gave him some antipyretics. Let him rest here for a while. I told him that he would feel better after some medicine and rest, but I only said that to comfort him. His symptoms resemble a fever, but something else is causing them. They seem more akin to a disruption in his psyche. Antipyretics won't be of much use. What do we do? Mr. Forest Watcher, you have to help him. If memory serves, a plant called Vasanti grass can help soothe the mind. A small number grow in arid deserts. They usually look like shriveled weeds, but can be revitalized with a splash of water. They're expensive and unable to grow in the Avidia Forest's climate, so I don't have any on hand. I'll ask the caravans. Uh, go find Kale. Have her prepare medicinal tools and a set of traveling gear for me. All right. Thank you. Contaminated region? Hmm. Is that why you two are also here? Yep. Is it a new withering zone? Doesn't seem like one. Whether you look at scale, internal conditions, or resultant effects, they're completely different. The only thing they have in common is that they aren't welcome. This nuisance made itself home in the Avidia Forest, so I can't turn a blind eye. We feel the same way. All right. Let's contact the caravans first and purchase some Vasanti grass. We can also ask about the contaminated region. There's no time to waste. We have to move quickly. Let's go. Can I fucking do the main quest, please? Curse it. Elazar is a truly troublesome illness. How many Rukashabah yes, mushrooms do I need to sell before I can buy them by the proper amount? Our recent catch was great. We definitely have enough for a grand feast this time. Give me the thing. I need them. Fucking. Okay, Wander is already at 80, so I can't do much with him right now. But it would be nice if I get 60 of those, so I can have, have that shit ready. I could probably evolve them if I had enough stars. I'll worry about that later, though. 
And then, where's all the, you know, I need flowers. So we're almost there. Okay. So teleport here. Excuse me, I'd like to purchase some Vasanti grass. Do you have any? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Forest Watcher, but we've been closed for the past few days. Closed? Now that's odd. It's my first time hearing you say something like that. Uh, it's a long story. Some of our goods were stolen recently. They were mechanical parts that we got from the Academia. Although they're old models, they still fetch a good price on the market. Our caravans had to pull together Mora to afford those parts. Now that they've been lost, we'll likely come up short this trip. All the merchants talked it over and we decided to raise the prices of our remaining inventory. Until this plan takes effect, none of us can privately sell anything. I don't get it. If these goods are so important, then why not think of a way to get them back? Raising prices won't solve anything. At best, you're shoving the consequences of the robbery onto your customers. Yeah, Mr. but that's Forest what they Watcher, do. It's not that we don't want to. It's just the thief disappeared into the deepest parts of the forest. We asked around, and apparently the forest has been very unusual as of late. Anyone who goes in experiences mental anomalies. We can't keep waiting out here for the thief to come out. All we could do is come up with another solution. So, the bandit hid in the contaminated region after stealing those mechanical parts? How many people were there in total? Were they not affected by the contaminated region? That crook came from the contaminated region. As for how many, uh, there weren't any people. No people? Uh, even if I tell you, you might not believe me. Uh, oh, fine. The thief that stole our parts was a huge mechanical crab. What the heck? The Avidia Forest has creatures like that? Hmm. Is that a crab? I don't see any hint for us to feel good. To be honest, I'd rather not think about it. It moved too skillfully to be new at this. It came out of nowhere. Before we could react, it swiped our goods and ran away. We were all shocked. By the time we came to our senses, the thief was already long gone. I see. If we help you retrieve your stolen goods, then business will return to normal? Oh, but of course! Uh, not only that, but you'll become one of our caravan's VIPs on all future purchases of any... Uh... Enough. Tell me something that's actually useful. Uh, any leads on that mechanical crab? Maybe one. After our goods were stolen, we specifically got someone to assess the situation. If you're interested, you can go and talk to them. All right. We'll go and have a word. <sighs> Can I finally do the Arkham Quest now? Wait. What is this, by the way? I'm wondering what it is. Oh, okay. Probably should work on that. Mm. We'll about that later. Why? God damn it. That mechanical crab is fast, strong, and a pain to deal with. Ten of us might not even be able to take that thing head on. 
didn't academia ban research on mechanical life forms years ago? Where did that thing come from? Our salaries even got slashed because of it. Ugh. Who would have thought that that robber wasn't a human, but a mechanical crab? This is rough. After the goods were stolen, I made multiple inquiries with nearby caravans and residents. It turns out that many others have also been robbed by that crooked crab. However, the crab only seems to be interested in machinery. It doesn't even bat an eye at other valuables. A caravan carrying a large amount of more had an uneventful trip, but another caravan had a child whose metal toy was taken. Whatever the case, that thing is a scourge. We'll eventually think of a way to get rid of it. Huh. Oh. 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 I heard from the caravanners that there have been a lot of robberies lately, but we haven't been affected. We don't normally see the mechanical crab, and it doesn't disturb our daily lives. It only shows up when the caravans are here, and it runs back to the contaminated region after it's done making a mess. You haven't tried capturing it? We have, but it's too agile and fast. However, we did unexpectedly learn something the last time we tried to capture it. It apparently lives in the deepest part of the forest, so instead of immediately moving its spoils, it first hides them nearby. Once its stash grows large enough, it moves everything in one go. You'll have to move fast if you want those goods back. Can I Sumeru roses on hand? There will always be a use for them. Can I now do it? Or is it not gonna let me yet? Nope, not yet. How are things? Did you make any progress? We learned of its behaviors, but much still remains unclear. Assuming normal operational status, mechanical constructs generally act according to their given commands. If I were its owner, I'd command it to steal more valuable things, or the mora you made. That would be the most efficient method. But it only goes after mechanical components. This doesn't make any sense. Right! It's really weird. So, you all found a way to retrieve our goods? Do you have any more mechanical parts with you? Yes, I still have a small bag of samples. They weren't taken since I keep them on me at all times. Oh, are you planning to... Under constant external conditions, organisms rarely initiate changes in their habits. Here's what we know so far. It has a mechanical composition, it lives in the contaminated region, and it comes out to steal mechanical components. If we have said components, we can lure it out, capture it, and then make observations for further conclusions. Well, chatting like this won't get us anywhere. We're only wasting time. You're right. We don't have any other options right now. This bag of samples is all yours, Mr. Forest Watcher. If you can get our goods back, the caravans will reward you generously. We don't need anything in return, but I'll be keeping this bag. I may have other uses for it later. We'll also need to borrow a Sumpter Beast. Our act has to be convincing if we want the crab to fall for it. Oh yeah, no problem at all. If it means getting our things back, you can even borrow me to do whatever you need. <laughs> I'll have to decline that offer. Anyway, we'll use the mechanical components and Sumpter Beast to pose as a transiting caravan and lure out the crab. Once it appears, capture it. I leave the timing to you. Don't worry, we're professionals. All right, now can I go back to fucking the main Archon quest? No. Dear Lord. Uh, it's 
I could probably walk that, I guess. <laughs> it's like about there ish. Drop. Looking at the trade routes and the contaminated region's current perimeter, the goods were likely stolen somewhere around here. Then let's get to it! We'll definitely capture that criminal crab! Okay. We'll start from here and have the Sumter Beast with the components on board lead the way. This Sumter Beast isn't familiar with us yet, so be calm and take your time with it. Beast went ahead. Let's keep up with it. Hmm. Huh? No. Why'd it stop? Hmm. Looks like it's loafing around. Or maybe it's hungry. The caravanners grew disheartened after their goods were stolen, so they probably didn't feed their animals as scheduled. Let's give it something to eat. Maybe now it'll let me. God damn it! All right, it's moving again. Look strong. Be careful. This is order. No escape. Don't get frostbite. No, let's do it on. doesn't seem capable of comprehending complex questions. Keep an eye on it. I'll search around the area for the caravan's goods. I don't know why you're stealing mechanical parts, but they don't belong to you. Stolen items must be returned to their rightful owners. Any objections? Okay. You came from the depths of the contaminated region, right? How about you help us with something? If you take us there, I'll give you some mechanical parts as a reward. It reacted! Hmm, we can't be certain yet. <laughs> its excitement may be a simple programmed response upon seeing mechanical components. Okay. So you want the crag to lead us into the contaminated region? That's right. The contaminated region has a large and currently expanding perimeter, so it would be difficult to conduct a thorough search. If we charge straight in, we'll get lost like headless pigeons. Also, our new friend here seems to be full of secrets. 
I've been studying this contaminated region recently, and I have a hypothesis of my own. So to be absolutely safe, it would be best to have a guide lead the way. Paimon gets it now. Um, does this scuttler understand what you're saying? It doesn't have to, as long as it isn't hostile towards us. I gave it some components that it will definitely take back to the contaminated region. So long as it doesn't attack us, we can simply follow along. It seems to be really happy. Listen to me. Wait for us here. No running off. We'll be back soon. If you're still here when we return, I'll give you another mechanical part as a reward. Understood? The cat is understanding I'm us. not sure. But our priorities are to retrieve the mechanical components and to purchase Fasanti grass to make medicine with. We should return. But before we do, we need to set up a few traps. Can't have that crab escaping. Hmm. Now? Can I? Blah. Fucking why? When will I be done? I need to like zap through because I'm not going. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have opened up these fucking quests, but whatever. It's my own fault. I probably wouldn't be doing them anyway. I didn't have them open anywho, so Oh! Oh! These are the mechanical parts that were stolen! You really got them back for us! Oh, thank you all so very much. I don't know how I can repay you. Wait. Didn't you want to purchase Fasanti grass? Uh, don't worry about the price. They're on the house. How many do you need? Uh, two is enough. No, that won't do. Here, I'll throw in some more. No need. I've already received a reward from you. Reward? You mean that bag of mechanical parts? Ah, uh, they aren't worth much compared to this merchandise. Ah, uh, but those parts are very useful to me, just like the Vasanti grass. I retrieved the things you needed, and you gave me what I needed in return. We're even. <laughs> oh, and before we go, just a reminder. The forest has an intricate and biodiverse ecosystem. Even if there were no mechanical crabs, other dangers are still present. Take caution on this route. Noted. Thank you all ever so much. Let's return to the village. The earlier we can give the child medicine, the sooner he'll start feeling better. Seems all the other knights already have their hands full. Sorry about that, y'all. 
what happened was, like, my phone, no, my controller, like, fell from my hand, and it, like, or I knocked, what did I do? Any, either way, my controller left the, on, my hand and went under We're not frozen in place after all. The futon. And it didn't just go, like, go under, under. It went way under. Like, I had to use a stick to take it out. Can I do it now, please? Fuck. So, I have to use stick to try to get it out, which is why those two menus pulled, like, I did my R2 and whatnot. I didn't mean to. I just didn't have control of it anymore. Probably should do my laundry. It's already going to be five. Relatively soon. Mm. Oh! Hi there, Traveler and Paimon! Master! I prepared the pharmaceutical equipment. Do you need me to help grind the medicine? No need. A precise dosage is required this time, so I'll do it myself. Oh. Okay. But once I'm done, you can deliver the medication to the child. He gets a little nervous when I'm around for too long. I don't think he finds me very approachable. I'll go prepare the medication. Traveler, give me a hand. How is he? Doing any better? <sighs> I feel like he's doing a lot better, and his temperature is returning to normal. That's wonderful! Oh yeah, he asked me to tell you that Suna came by earlier, and he told her everything about the toy. Suna didn't get mad, so he wanted to thank you. Uh, can I ask what happened? It's nothing. Did you prepare the traveling gear that I asked you to? Of course I did! Are you going somewhere? Far away? Yes, we're going to the contaminated region. Judging by its size, we will likely have to stay overnight. I'm leaving everything to you while I'm gone. Huh? But I, uh, I can't even begin to compare to you. Many things are learned by doing, and once they've been done, you'll realize that they weren't as difficult as you once thought they were. Deal with problems as you yourself see fit. You don't have to emulate me. That's right! You'll do great, Kale! Alright, then I'll do my best! Master, Traveler, Paimon, take care of yourselves! Don't worry. I'm sure we'll be fine. I think you'll understand why once we arrive at the contaminated region. You put too much confidence in me. <laughs> anyway, like you said, things will likely be uneventful. Let's return and find that crab. Can I please have the fucking main quest? Why? What location? It's like in this general area, I think. Unknown. It's probably this, I guess, because I think this is where the, uh... You know what, maybe I do have to fucking do all of Janara's quests because I fucked up. But it's whatever. But isn't there a way to, like, fucking... 
I to tore ties, tore ties. Here's your toes. I thought that was a way to like, you know, cut it off so that way it'll do what you want for a while. Eliza. What time is it? 50? <coughs> hmm. Um, so... What's the hurry? I think... I could be wrong, but I think it's probably about time I end this episode. If I take too long, I think what I'll do is I'll probably just go and fucking play the event. I mean, I have a few, like, a bunch of days, but I would, I don't like, you know, wait as I am. Before we jump down there, um, we'll do it next time. So for now, it's time to be signing out.